this is part two of the video explaining the push versus the pull process. One is make to stock, which is a push, and the pull is make to order. But first, please watch the video. There's a link available in the box below where I explain the difference between push and pull process, and I applied push process in Arena. In this example, I'm gonna apply pull process in Arena and show you the difference between the two. But please subscribe to my channel as it motivates me to do more videos. So this is the part which is related to the push process i'm gonna re-explain it in the push process you go to the supplier and you buy for example 1000 raw material enough to make 1000 uh, basketball so and you have the raw material cost three dollars the production cost is five dollars the overhead cost per unit is two dollars sell per unit is 15. so you're hoping to process the 1000 and the remaining after inspection will you put that to storage and you wait for the customer to come eventually and buy those finished unit and in case there is no customer enough customer you'll end up with a lost with a loss okay like the as example we did we bought 1000 unit enough raw material to do 1000 unit however we have an order of only 500 so we end up with a loss what's the video with a link provided in the box below it explains this extensively However, the pull process, you don't do anything unless you get an order from a customer. And then you go backward, starting from the back all the way to the front. You go backward, reversing, which meant by you get an order of 500 units. So you go to the supplier and buy enough units to service those 500 units. Let's do this as an example. So we get an order. As we've seen here, we get an order in the variable of unit ordered as 500. And in this example, I'm gonna put the order here of 500 maximum arrival. Okay. So, and I need to uh, emphasize on one point the processing and the production and the overhead cost per unit are there, regardless if you scrap the unit or you don't scrap it. So I'm gonna show you this example. Uh, I'm gonna run it like the customer ordered 500 units. So we went to the supplier and we get 500 units. Okay. So let's run it and see what we will get. So this is the pull process. In this example, the huge problem facing us is the following. So the customer has ordered 500 units yes but the finished product is 370 the finished product is 370 after inspection because we started with 500 we waited for the customer to order 500 we went to the supplier to get the 500 i'm gonna add a more a one more box here which is duplicate i'll show you to you in a second and the total SP minus minus finished products number A. So I'm gonna run it again and show you the difference between the two. The finished product number out so here we're lacking uh, this is the number of unit we are lacking so some product number out minus I'm gonna move this one here all the way to the end so here number of unit still needed a key to service the demand so i'm gonna run this to show the difference and here in this example we start by minus 500 all the way to minus 130 so i'm gonna play with this one like to 85 percent and so those are the number of unit lacking which is 86 and so I'm gonna do this the total revenue, of course, is a finished product. Okay, the total revenue is the units ordered 
Now I'm gonna change this into the finished products times number out. And I'm gonna run it. And here you could see a 6,210, which is literally uh, 414 times 15 dollars. So the total production cost is 5,000. And we're still making a profit, but not met the requirement of uh, the customer, customer, which is 500 units. So to make this happen, we have the pull process. I'm going to repeat this, the pull process. The customer ordered 500 units. So we went to the supply and bought 500 units. We didn't take into consideration the scrap into the system. So we have to make this one 600 or 586. And let's see if it works or 590. So I'm going to run it and see how it works so we have minus seven units so i'm gonna make this one 600 and rerun it to maximize the profit to maximize the profit number of units still needed is one number of units still needed is just one but we're still making a profit we're still making a profit Okay, so those are the difference between push and pull. Push, you, you buy regardless of what will be ordered later on. So you might end up with unit and finish unit in stock, and this will be a loss on the long run. However, pull, you wait for the customer, and you go backward in the system, take into consideration scraps, the time, and availability at the supplier. Okay, and this is the difference between the two.